Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're having good luck with your gardening and all of your projects. And without further ado, let's get to today's. So, we've got our mess over here. So we've been working on wiring today. So, for starters, I had 120 feet of this solar wire. And uh, there's about four foot left of it. So we used 116 feet of that wire. And we have accomplished, the whole thing is now powered up. So now all we gotta do is uh, finish digging our trench here so we can run conduit. And the, the plan is to run con uh, dig a trench all the way to the corner of the container over there. And then we can use conduit to run along the outside of the container to go all the way over to the battery room. Rather than digging a big long trench all the way over there, which I don't think I need to do. But I may change my mind because it looks like I can just go straight across here also, but I don't know. We'll see. Also waiting on uh, the inverter charge controller too. That hasn't shipped yet. Uh, it's been nearly a month since I ordered it, so it should be shipping soon, I imagine. Uh, it'll be really nice once we can use air conditioning and not have to worry about gas for the generators because it's really really expensive to run the generator to have air conditioning but it's also really hot out here too it's getting hotter and hotter so right i was just in the trailer and it's a 100 degrees inside there right now and uh, i don't want to use air conditioning but i may just have to do it anyways just to be comfortable now we do have everything wired up all the panels so this is a 5s 4p configuration for all of you guys out there that know more about this stuff than i do we've got five panels in series and four groups of those in parallel so these four here or these five here are connected in series those five are connected in series those five are connected in series and these five are connected in series and then those are all in parallel and they connect to the combiner box so we've got eight plugs plugged in here. Four, four, these four in the front are positive and then the four behind that is negative. And we can check the voltage here, show you guys how much power we're making. I think it's 120 something volts. We'll uh, double check that. And we're not using my phone to record this video because I've been having issues with the focus on it and it drives me insane to look at the videos that are all blurry. 160 volts, I was off by a little bit. 160.3. So, pretty high voltage. Gotta be careful now. Luckily, the way these things are designed is not really a way to electrocute myself in there unless I do it on purpose and I don't really think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Probably blow off my arm or something if I short circuited something, but we're just gonna be really careful. So we'll close that up and uh, yeah, wrap up this video. So just wanted to put a short video together for you guys to show off some of the wiring. Um, I'm still not done cleaning all the wiring up. There's a couple of areas that are, I don't know, that are bothering me, even though it doesn't really matter. I'm the one that has to look at them. And then we got to talk about uh, securing the cables and the wires so that when we turn this into a chicken coop so the chickens can't get up and chew on the wires if they do even do that kind of thing. We don't want uh, popcorn chicken. So <laughs> that's it for today, you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, pop those down below. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, keep building and try to be good to each other. Some of us aren't here for very long. A little bit of kindness will go a long ways. So God bless you all and peace.